Hey folks, it's Toby here, back again with another Korg SQ64 video for Attack Magazine. Big thanks to Korg for sponsoring this video. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. This video, we're going to be looking at a few of the polyphonic options on the SQ64. To give a brief rundown of polyphony, polyphony is when you play more than one note at the same time. So as opposed to a bass line, which is usually just one note, or a lead line, it's more than one note at the same time, or also known as a chord. There's a couple of ways you can implement polyphony on the SQ64. Channels A, B and C are polyphonic, and channel D is a drum channel, so it's monophonic, but it's multi-midi. And if you want a detailed rundown in how to program, say, a Volker via this D channel, go back to the first video. One of the ways you can play chords on the SQ64 is using the sequencer as a keyboard. All you have to do is hold down pitch and channel A. Got yourself a keyboard. I've got this set up MIDI going out into this brilliant Korg SV2 over here. And then the MIDI from the SV2 is coming back into the SQ64. More on that later. I've programmed a beat on the Volker over here using the D drum channel. Have a listen. And say I wanted to play a chord on the first beat of the first bar, all I do is hit pitch A again, and then listen to... There's your root note there. Choose a chord, and then I just hold down the cell. And the notes I want, and then it should... Play it back. And then, so if I want to do a syncopated little sequence. Oh. Let's give it a bit of swing. So I go to gate, hit the channel, and then turn my swing up. Get it grooving. And if I want to give it a bit more feel, because it's quite rigid at the moment, I can change the velocity or the strength of the hit on each cell. All I have to do is go to mod, hold down the cell, Turn the value down, maybe on these two, and you'll be able to hear the difference. I'm going to turn it up on this one. And then if you aren't holding down a cell, you can just turn all of them up. Or down. So we've used the SQ64 as a keyboard. Let's switch it now and use the SV2. So I'm going to clear what I've done on channel A here. All you do is hold down shift and then where it says clear here that refers to the action and then the cell refers to the track. So I want to clear track A, just hit shift and A and we'll have a clear channel. I'm going to select a 64 step sequence. And as you can see, you can do any number of steps. So you can do kind of weird, you know, uh, like 39 steps or whatever. So I got it to 64 steps. Pick my chord. And then have it running. Record arm. Here we go. One, two. Uh, 
as you can hear, that's a little bit out. But fortunately, Korg's got my back, and you can edit so that the hits line up to the bar. All you have to do is when it's in gate mode, turn your offset to zero. Let's just go around, edit a few of these. So this last row I'm not that happy with. So you can overdub. Here we go. Record on. And then if you hold it down, you can see Ty is on there. So I heard there was a bit of a dodgy moment here. So I'll just take Ty off and maybe turn it into, put the offset to zero, turn it into something a bit funkier. Oh, just change the steps there. Here we go. a little bit puny so I'm gonna do what we did earlier I'm gonna turn the velocity up there we go let's edit a couple more of these If I want to change one chord, for example, I just hold the cell down. And that'll have changed notes. Definitely didn't do that. Uh, it should be in pitch mode. There we go. Another trick you can do is if you go to gate mode and rotate everything by one. Yeah, I do realize I've kind of quantized all of this, but you get the idea. It was, it was a pretty dodgy take to start off with, so it just shows a lot with it. And then I heard that there's a, that slightly higher chord sounds cool. So another thing you can do is go to pitch, uh, hold down your cell, and then turn the inversion up. That's the position of the chord. So if you turn the position up, two positions on these middle ones here. on the Volker, do some freestyling on the piano. Reverb up on the Volker. Bass in.
couple of the polyphonic options on the SQ64 there. Loads of fun. Thanks very much to Korg for sponsoring, as always. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time.